So this is the first uh, video that should help you guys get started um, with some basics in 3D. Um, and this would be uh, for drawing a 3D playground. Um, <clears throat> so there's going to be a number of videos that I'm going to bring up um, with this um, and kind of show you guys through the project. Um, you know, each it's, it's kind of the same skills that we kind of keep using over and over again. Um, and I'm clicking this uh, link down here in classroom because these are the things and we've pared this down because of uh, time left um, in remote learning. Um, <clears throat> so these are the things I want you guys to attack and you guys will be scoring yourselves in this and I'll just be assigning the realism points to this. So um, I'm going to kind of take you through step by step and you know the after I just do a couple videos on just the 3D basics um, like extrude and um, sweep and revolve and those basic basic tools then i'll go ahead and i will um, do a video like how i would build a tower on posts a very simple one okay um, <clears throat> and again on this project you're going to just select um, a few different items but if you get through this whole thing and some of these things like a fire pole that's you know might be a five minute operation uh, but a playhouse or something might be a 20 minute operation or 25. So um, I think you'll see, though, overall, it's the same skills kind of over and over again, same basic tools that you're going to use. OK, um, <clears throat> let's go back to. So I have AutoCAD open right now um, and we're going to go ahead and start with uh, going to my let's see to my website if it will come up. And under file download, you have one that says um, 3D playground template. So you would click that. It's going to download right here and you would open it. Okay. It's always better if you're downloading an AutoCAD file to make sure you do have AutoCAD open first. Okay. Um, so a couple areas to um, make you aware of. Okay. Uh, for the basics on 3D, um, we are going to utilize these two buttons quite a bit. So up in the top left of my screen where it says top, and then right here where it says 2D wireframe, okay? So if I click this top button, I'm going to go down here, and this is the one I kind of most often use. This would be like my, I would say my home 3d view is the one that says sw isometric or southwest isometric so watch what happens to my screen when i do this so right here look at the bottom left obviously this is a big change <clears throat> um, and on the bottom left you see x y and now we have z which is the third dimension okay the way to uh, operate without you know you can go to any you can go to southeast isometric you can go to and it's going to look identical but if you wanted to, what we call orbit <clears throat> around this, which you'll do quite a bit, you hold the shift button down <clears throat> and then hold the mouse roller down <clears throat> until where it clicks. Now you'll be able to go ahead and manipulate this kind of almost like you're swimming around in water um, around the object. Or <clears throat> uh, remember, you're, you're adjusting you, you're not adjusting the object, okay? Um, so that's the way you would do that. So you hold the shift button down and orbit like that. Okay. And the second thing to make you aware of is, uh, up here. So there's, like I said, we're going to constantly be toggling between a top view because all good 3d starts in a top view, uh, or in a two, I shouldn't say in a top view, but all good 3d comes from good 2d. Okay. And then the other one is 2d wireframe. And once I have made an object, a 3D object, if I were to click realistic, for instance, you can see that it is now a solid object. Okay. So that's kind of the, um, the first thing you need to be aware of, just some basic. And then let's talk about a couple of basic settings. So if you see down here below me on this bottom ribbon, so look down here in the bottom right of your screen where it says model and keep going over and over and over, you're going to have a button that looks like a gear and it says workspace switching when you hover over it. So most of the time you're in 3D. So if I click it, I get a pop up menu and you are going to want to click 3D modeling. <clears throat> and 
And it takes a second, but you notice now that my ribbon just switched and it looks different, okay? So don't get freaked out about it because your base, it's not like you're relearning all new things. You're gonna use basic, if you look up here under draw, this is identical basically to your, your old draw tools. And modify tools are pretty much the same um, with the exception of the fact that you have a couple different ones. And then over here in modeling, these are the tools that really help us um, make 2D objects into 3D objects, okay? This one on the far left, if I hit the drop down under box, these are, <clears throat> to me, not the most useful. Um, they, they can help in a pinch, like if I have to do a cone, I will use this. Um, <clears throat> if I have to do a pyramid, I might use that. I never really use the box setting. Um, so these are not going to be that helpful, but these four, extrude, loft, revolve, and sweep, are highly, highly um, uh, useful, okay? And then one other area um, under solid editing right here, this middle one, and I understand if you're in 2018 uh, AutoCAD, these will look a little different. Yours will look like a Venn diagram, but all the locations are in the same place. And if you ho hover over anything, it will... Um, show you what it is okay so solid subtract we use it constantly union is going to we don't use it as much but this is helpful if you want to take two 3d objects and make it into one and then there's one right here yours would look like a knife edge on 2018 and that's called slice and that's pretty handy as well okay and then one other thing you might notice um, kind of the last thing is up here under layers your your layers used to be kind of up in, in the center right here, but now layers is kind of, they had to compact it. You could obviously adjust things in this toolbar, um, like coordinates I would completely get rid of because I don't really use it that much, but um, <clears throat> I wouldn't do that. I would just leave it. And if you look at the template that I set up for you, um, I gave you just some basic, basic layers, swing, slide, rope chain, all of these things, okay? Um, it's super critical in 3D to use a lot of layers um, because once you get content on the page, uh, the more content you get, the more things you can't see. Um, like if I draw a big tower in the middle and I have a swing set behind it, I may not be able to completely see the swing set. So it helps to be able to turn it off. Um, construction lines, remember those are just kind of like cheater lines, um, lines to get places. Um, you'll need to use those quite a bit. So that's that. That's the basics of um, your 3D um, screen, at least what it should look like. Um, and then the first thing I would do is, um, if you're doing it on this video, what I would do to start out is um, get rid of, go back to 2D wireframe, and I would grab on a different layer, like on construction or something, and I would literally draw a line all the way around the top of the playground. The top, so this is 75 feet by 75 feet. And what I'd like you guys to do, because on the template I made it a solid, <clears throat> but it's actually much easier to use if it wasn't a solid, okay? So start with that and then go ahead and erase The solid so you're just dealing with a square okay so that is the first step <clears throat> make sure that you do come down here turn on 3d modeling um, and then again make sure you're familiar with custom view and 2d wireframe um, and <clears throat> when we come back on the next video i'll um, show you just a couple basics all right